Hi, VencoreWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, May 31st. A continuation of an unsettled weather pattern here in the eastern U.S. over the next several days. A cold frontal system brings us the chance for more showers and thunderstorms later today, early tonight. Not everybody will see rain, but there will be scattered showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon into the early part of the evening. That moves on out of here by late tonight. It looks like tomorrow actually will be a nice day, probably the only day of the next several without any rain at all in the forecast. It looks like Thursday and Thursday night look dry, pleasantly warm in the Mid-Atlantic region. The weather starts off pretty nice on Friday. There will be the chance for more showers and thunderstorms later in the day, and especially Friday night. That moves on out of here, it looks like, by early Saturday. Saturday itself turns out to be a pretty nice day, it looks like, in the Mid-Atlantic region, but more rain is coming for Sunday for sure, it looks like, in the Mid-Atlantic region. That could be a soaking rain event. Rain could continue into Monday as well, and it turns even cooler during the early part of next week. In fact, there are signs that the first half of June as a whole will be cooler than normal in much of the eastern U.S. Well, let's take a look at the current surface map. First of all, there is a stationary frontal system, maybe a warm front moving slowly to the north right now in the southern part of the Mid-Atlantic region. That combined with this cool frontal system pressing in from the west will keep us unsettled today. Some patchy uh, fog this morning, maybe a little bit of drizzle here and there. Could be some intervals of sunshine, believe it or not, during the midday and afternoon hours. But then as this cold front arrives, Scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible uh, during the mid and late afternoon hours into the early evening. Again, not necessarily everyone will get rain late today, early tonight, but there should be some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there during the mid and late afternoon hours into the early evening. Then this high pressure system takes over for Thursday and Thursday night into the day on Friday. <coughs> Again, a decent day coming for Thursday, tomorrow. Pleasantly warm, high temperatures well up in the 70s, and plenty of sunshine. Possibly some early morning patchy fog, but that'll dissipate rather quickly, allowing for mostly sunny skies on Thursday uh, afternoon. And again, it should stay dry right into the day on Friday. Well, what about the prospects for sunshine today? Uh, this is an infrared satellite imagery loop from the Penn State Ewall site. Notice here some clearing setting in already across western Pennsylvania ahead of the frontal system which is out over the Ohio Valley. There's an area of clearing skies and that could press east into the I-95 corridor for the midday and afternoon hours. Again, mostly cloudy this morning, some patchy fog, maybe even some drizzle in some spots. Intervals of sunshine quite possible by the latter part of the morning, midday, uh, early afternoon hours. and that little bit of sunshine will boost temperatures compared to recent days. Should get well up into the 70s for highs later on this afternoon. Well, before we get to last night's 060 GFS model run, I wanted to show the NOAA forecast of total precipitation amounts over the next seven days. A couple things to point out. First of all, a soaking rain over the next week here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Primarily, it looks like that will occur in the Sunday-Monday uh, time frame. It could certainly turn out to be a soaking rain event during the second half of the weekend going into the early part of next week. Another thing to point out, notice in Florida, they've been quite dry in recent uh, weeks. We talked about how uh, that drought in Florida should be alleviated over the next several weeks as tropical moisture gets more and more in play, and indeed, a soaking rain event over the next week down in Florida, that should help considerably. And a continuation of really just a wet pattern across the nation. A couple of weeks ago I posted about the uh, drought conditions across the U.S. being at record low uh, as long as we've been keeping records. Very little of the country is experiencing severe drought or a drought of any nature. Florida, again, southern Georgia, had some uh, pretty uh, significant drought conditions over the last several weeks, but that will be alleviated going forward. And again, just about every state in the Union here in the uh, lower 48 to receive some rainfall over the next seven days and significant rain in the eastern half of the nation. 
Well, let's take a look at the 06 GFS model run. I always like to start off with the upper levels, the 500 millibar height anomaly chart. It really tells a story about uh, what is evolving here in the eastern half of the nation for sure. Blues here represent lower heights than normal, basically low pressure in the upper part of the atmosphere. And we have a, a deep upper level low situated right over the Great Lakes this morning. We'll move ahead in six-hour increments. And again, this is from the 6Z GFS model run. It moves into the northeastern part of the nation. This is by tomorrow. Again, tomorrow will actually turn out to be a pretty decent day with more sun than clouds. Looks like rain-free conditions. Again, one of the only days without rain mentioned at all in the forecast. Uh, that upper level low tends to intensify by tomorrow night and then into the day on Friday. Again, still situated over the northeast U.S. How many times over the past few months have we seen upper level lows situated over the northeast U.S.? It's certainly contributed to May turning out to be uh, below normal temperature-wise in much of the mid-Atlantic region. Let's now move forward here and notice kind of an intensification here by Friday night. And again, still situated. And it looks like on Saturday, it's pulling away, and indeed, Saturday itself may turn out to be a pretty decent day, but notice right here, another little feature coming in, and all of this basically fills back in again by Friday. Blues now here, or below normal heights throughout much of the eastern third of the nation by Sunday afternoon. Again, Sunday could turn out to be quite a, a soaking rain event for the mid-Atlantic region and going into Monday. Just notice, I'm just going to walk through here. Here we are now, Monday morning. This is June 5th now. We're into the next month. And notice how persistent this upper level low in the eastern U.S. This is now Tuesday, and it just keeps on uh, uh, basically reinventing itself along the east coast here. The main one pulls out, and yet on its heels you start to see more blue here. And here we are all the way ahead now to June 10th. And again, all of this looks like it's pointing to the first half of June. Looks like it'll be cooler than normal for D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. Well, let's now walk through in six-hour increments the surface forecast maps from the 6Z GFS model run. All of these maps from tropicaltidbits.com. Scattered showers and uh, embedded thunderstorms today. Here we are moving through into the afternoon. Again, not a widespread event here coming later today. Not everyone will see rain, but there will be scattered showers and thunderstorms, primarily focused in the afternoon, evening hours. And this is uh, uh, in the middle of the evening here, latter part of the evening. Pretty solid here looking from D.C. to New York City again. Shower and thunderstorm threat from mid to late afternoon through the evening hours as that cold frontal system presses in. But then by tomorrow, high pressure starts to build in. Again, there can be some patchy early morning fog, but for the most part, Thursday turns out to be quite a nice day. Then by Friday afternoon, a little bit unsettled again coming Friday afternoon, Friday evening with the chance of showers and thunderstorms returning later Friday into Friday night, probably more likely Friday night than Friday afternoon, but that's a little too early to say. Then Saturday should be a decent day in the mid-Atlantic region all the way down into the southeast U.S. as high pressure builds in. Again, that's a temporary break in the action here. Saturday, again, a decent day to start the weekend, but then by the time we get to Sunday afternoon, moisture already pushing ahead into the Ohio Valley, and this may very well be on the slow side. I think Sunday turns out to be a rainy day and perhaps a soaking rain event. The European model is more bullish on the precipitation for Sunday, and I kind of tend to agree with that than the GFS model. Even the GFS, though, has a pretty soaking rain event coming by the time Sunday night, early Monday rolls around. But again, Sunday into Monday could turn out to be a soaking rain event in the mid-Atlantic region. And here we are by Monday afternoon, still raining, and then a cool high pressure Builds in behind it. It looks like cooler than normal for the early middle part of next week. And again, signs point to the first half of June likely being cooler than normal in the mid-Atlantic region. That's it for now. For VencoreWeather.com, I'm Meteor.